I got 92 of 100 in my chemistry jam exam. I took jam exam in 2023 and in this video, I'm going to be giving you 5 tips that can make you get something like that for yourself. But before then, my name is Mr. Mao and I'm a first year medical student of Lagos State University. If you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification button so that you can get notified anytime I make a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for always supporting me and thanks for always being there with me. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, map out a plan to cover your syllabus. That's more like dividing the syllabus into a fragment of topics to be covered on a daily or weekly basis depending on how you want it. I've always said this in all of my videos that JAM cannot set questions outside their syllabus. So you should always take the syllabus as a guide. Like, why study? Take the syllabus as a guide. Study according to the syllabus. Divide the syllabus into a series of topics that you need to study on a daily basis or weekly basis, depending on the way you like it. This is how I used to study when I was preparing for my JAM exam. And I wanted to do the same because I believe it's going to work for you. Take studying of past questions very seriously. Personally, I ensure that I finish studying my chemistry past questions from front to back while preparing for my JAM exam. I recently, I asked a friend who had 300 as a JAM score what she could have done better if she could go back in time to take the JAM exam again. And guess what? She told me that she would have studied more of past questions. Why? Because JAM is really addicted to repeating questions. They don't really have new questions, so they tend to repeat more of past questions. So you shouldn't sleep on reading past questions or studying past questions. My personal view about past question is that past question actually exposes you to a variety of different topics and it also exposes you to how JAM personally sets their own questions. So I don't feel there should be any reason why you should sleep on studying past questions because if you study past questions, it will really help you. Thirdly, take YouTube and Google seriously. You should always watch YouTube tutorials and trainings on the subject you are taking in your JAM exam. To be frank, many of these YouTube creators you see out there even teach way more than our teachers do in classes. And also, I'm sure many of you would have noticed that sometimes our past questions may be wrong with some answers, which is one reason why you have your phone and you have Google on this your same phone. So do well to also consent Google to guess the correct answers to some questions that your past questions are giving you the wrong answers. This really happened during my time and I'm glad I actually consented Google for the correct answers. If you have been gaining value so far from this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel because that is the best way you can actually support me. Fourth on the list is to limit the time you spend online for cruise and watching of unnecessary TikToks. Actually, I know this is a very big problem and it happens to almost everyone in our generation. But what can you do? Okay, so during my time, I just had to think that JAM is an exam that only comes once in a year. But your TikTok is always on your phone. Your TikTok never leaves. So after your jam exam, you can always have time to watch that TikTok. You understand? So try to limit the time you spend on TikTok. Try to get yourself disciplined. And one of the things I used during my time was to use focus mode. I used focus mode um, by freezing the distractive apps. The apps that were distracting me that time, which let me say, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram, and a little of them, sure. But I just had to freeze them and I won't freeze them for a particular time so I can watch them and just, you know, take some rest. But you should try to limit the time you spend on all of these social media platforms when taking or preparing for your jam exam. And fifth on the list is to try to consult as many textbooks as possible. Sometimes you might read some things in a particular textbook and you don't understand. So if this thing happens to you, try to consult another textbook for better understanding. If you consult many textbooks, you always get to understand and have deeper understanding of that topic in question. And this is one thing I can never leave out. Like, I can never leave this out of this video. And that is to always try to put God in the picture. You know, tell God about the exam, tell God what you want to get, and always pray to God that He should support you while taking the exam. And put everything in His hands and He's going to take over. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something new today. See you today. Bye-bye.